just like what the f like they took five years they took five years to just have a trial to just go to court and sit down and actually do this five whole years like how do you go by five years and he was still doing it during those five years didn't stop him hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i want to talk about a really deep subject that is out there at the moment so as you guys have seen the documentary of surviving r kelly and it's just that documentary the amount of things that i didn't know that i now know that this that this guy has done is so mind-blowing so first thing i really i didn't know that he did a thing with elia or any of that like i didn't even know that, that was happening so that shocked me and i was like whoa so he's been out here having sex with elia who was 15 trying to play this media game that uh, are we together are we not it's just so crazy it's so crazy there's just so much in my head and i'm just like wow like my heart i can literally only imagine imagine going through that as a black woman and then not having any black people on your side or any black women supporting you or like understanding that this is some fucked up shit <laughs> literally because so when all this whole thing was happening people were still supporting him and this was the norm as they said in the documentary it was the fucking norm like to just be having young girls at their crib or whatever trying to do whatever and it's just so disgusting that like, this was how was this normal and it's so funny how now all these rappers <laughs> back, like all these back in the day rappers are now trying to trying to say something or whatever trying to speak on the subject when back in the day they knew like there's no way in hell that they didn't know like there's so many people that did music with this guy and R. Kelly didn't hide it. He had like people in his um in his studio, at his house, like oh, geez. And now, especially now, now that I am carrying and I'm expecting, it's like, well, imagine my imagine my flesh, my my daughter out here being How the fuck is your 15 year old out, out and about, and you have no idea what she's doing? That's so crazy. And it's just so mad that, oh, there's just so much. <laughs> this story is just so crazy and it just makes me so sad. But I'm so happy that they were able to speak up, you know, and that they didn't. Do you know what really messes, sorry, this is just everywhere, because my, this is fresh. My emotions are just out there. So one thing that I'm really like, wow, about is the fact that R. Kelly, he got caught. There's actual evidence, actual video evidence of him doing sexual activities with a 15 year old. There's legit evidence. And he tried to fire saying it's not him, it's his blah, 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 blah. It's actual stupidness. And then he still was found not guilty. How, do, how is someone found not guilty when it's their actual face in the video and they're trying to say it's not them? This is so crazy. Like, it's just like, I'm literally getting hot. <laughs> it's literally making me hot. Do you know what's mad? If R. Kelly was doing this to white women sorry but he would have been in jail from a while ago ever since they found fucking tape he would have been in jail but the fact that it was black women black women didn't have support behind them to black young women not even black girls not even women girls and they didn't have no support behind them and they were just here going through this shit on their own no backup people were there were black people there were black women outside of his court saying no it's not him it's not him blah blah, blah. 
to the point where a, a young black girl herself was supporting him until it happened to her because she was supporting him to the point where he saw her and he saw potential and he was like do you know what you look good like kind of come with me in other words and it happened to her too so it's like guys i just want females to just just stick with each other man like don't let this shit don't make us black people us young black girls feel like they don't have no support that's the worst feeling anyone could ever feel and i just really want women in general just to stick together no matter what so like don't get me wrong if you're wrong you're wrong but in this in situations like this when it's like they've literally been sexually abused to the point where no one believes their story and no one believes what they're saying it's just so disgusting like yeah he's a good artist whatever but don't put that on what he's doing if someone could be a good artist but could be a fucked up person doesn't it doesn't change the fact that they're still a fucked up person and what's so mad is during when he was making songs he was making songs talking about what he was doing but no one was catching on to it and now people are, people are now streaming his music trying to listen to like hints or whatever which is now making him obviously gain more money because this guy people are streaming his music listening to his music again trying to figure out what's going on <sighs> i really can't listen to his songs ever again like it's just so i just can't respect him as a person and i just really hope he goes to fucking jail and like he stays there like i really hope he goes and stays in fucking jail my skin is not doing the best but hey anyways thank you guys for watching um if you guys have any video ideas please let comment down below because i really don't know what i want to record i do want to record some makeup videos so i'm probably going to do that so yeah i hope you guys have a lovely time in the world and yeah thank you <laughs> ciao bella ciao ciao, ciao.